If you tell Jake, then Marissa's gonna find out. And I'm not gonna let that happen. You don't understand the reason I was so upset, the reason that I fell into bed with you? It never happened. Jake never slept with Kara. Okay, then all the more reason to keep what we did a secret. It was a mistake. Don't compound it by hurting Jake and Marissa. What was I thinking? You weren't. Neither was I. If I just talked to him, you know, let him explain, maybe heard him out, then I never, ever... What's going on? No matter what you feel like, you're a good man. I'm the best I've ever known. Hmm. You give her a little space, she'll remember how much she loves you. Well, I hope you are correct. I am just scared to death that she is gone for good. Kendall and I have reached an understanding of sorts. More like a wait and see. Don't screw her over. Don't. Okay, I have to go to Fusion, so why don't you stick around here and keep an eye on your old buddy? Uh, look, I know you're enjoying your first day back at work. And I've given you all the support I can. But don't make me regret it. And why do you care, Doctor? You're leaving town, remember? Giving up your chance at greatness. Thank you, Peggy. I'll be in the office in a bit, okay? Great. Thank you. Want a little help with that? No. I've got a staff to help me do the rest. Okay. You were great earlier the way you got Madison to go and take a breather. Thanks. The way you picked up on my luck, you knew exactly what to do. Yeah. See? You can still work well together. You should do it more often, then. Yeah. It's me. Presentation's still on. Uh, you know what? I'll handle the presentation. Why don't you go knock some sense into your mother? Uh... I tried talking to her. I did, but she didn't want to discuss it. Of course she didn't. There's no rational explanation. Okay, well, I'll try to get something more out of her. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Anything I can help with? Can you unsell a hospital? No, but I might be able to do something better than that. Madison! Are you okay? Yeah, I guess I just dozed off for a minute. Well, the presentation's gonna start soon, and you can't go like I'm, this. I'm fine. But I'll, I'll be right there. Maybe Kendall or Greenlee should handle it instead. No. No, no, this is my idea. I'm not gonna let it go. Thank you. You made my day. Hmm. Well. You make him happy, so thank you. I'm gonna go check on the girl. How'd it go? Not well. It's okay. It's a mini meltdown. It's my fault. I've been working her too hard. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just telling her she needs to take some time off, focus on her family, and only on that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You should take him up on it before he changes his mind. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hey, what should I tell AJ about the Grand Canyon trip? Uh, don't tell him anything. I want it to be a surprise. I like that. Hey, you take good care of yourself, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. Good. She was done with you, that she completely rejected you. I made a mistake, just like you did with Jake. Listen, you and I both have second chances. Don't blow it for us. Hey. I figured you'd be here. There you are. Is it possible to postpone the presentation? No, marketing is waiting on the feed. Where's Madison? 
thought you were going to freshen up. Fresh enough. Let's do this thing. This is her phone, isn't it? Oh, she is. Well, tell her to take a break from the interview. Tell her it's Dave. Tell her it's Dr. David Hayward of Pine Valley Hospital. Hi, Paul. Um, have you seen my mom anywhere around here today? Yeah, she was in here earlier with Dr. Hayward and Mr. Montgomery. Oof. Oof. All right. Uh. Can I have a virgin daiquiri, please? I'll have whatever's on top. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm not stalking you. Oh, there goes my fun. What's wrong? Something happened today with David after I left? He knows how to push my buttons. I knew it. Jake should have taken my advice. Just kept his mouth shut, let it go. I mean, of course Amanda's gonna be upset. I mean, you guys didn't do anything, but you almost did. How's she supposed to just, you know, find out about that and forgive? You did. Well, I'm different. I mean, I didn't say it didn't hurt. And you and I are different. I mean, come on, let's face it. Jake and Amanda, they have a real marriage, right? They have a child that now... I don't know. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Excuse me. What? Okay, I want you to go in the back with Crystal and Gabby while I get the food for the trip, okay? I wish I could bring a friend. Well, you got your sister. I wish AJ could come. Well, I told you, I mean, AJ's mommy can't come. Some things just aren't meant to be. You guys uh, ever actually work in an office? <sighs> I've been trying to get your wife to take some time off. Could you talk some sense into her? Well, he's right, actually. I mean, work isn't everything. All right, come home? Well, I just want to stay busy. That's right. It's your job to keep her busy. So go on. Get on out of here. It's all going to work out. Don't worry. You don't fool me for a minute. 